here it is all wrapped up i saw it on the that roller thing and i knew it was a good deal i, I mean i don't know what it's worth i have not priced it all out but it's 72 pieces and like eight of the mugs that i have in here or like five of the plates all go for around 100 bucks welcome to another thrift hunt i am your host and hunter blake we're going through stuff we see at thrift stores. We're going to sell online and make some money. These are components to home stereo systems, vintage home stereo systems. Uh, I do not know much about these. I do know that they have to be functioning in order to sell. Uh, and a lot of times these have small little crystals in them or gems or wires that can easily break. Uh, so I looked this up on eBay. They're all five bucks a piece. That one is a Satic. That's the brand. Uh, I found out that the middle one is only worth about 12 bucks, uh, which is not good enough to resell. But the other two, when I look those up, I haven't pulled to the side, they are going for above $50 a piece, but that's only in functioning condition. So I'm going to have to just sell them as untested, I think, probably get half that. I went over to the glass section, saw someone pulled out this Teal Wave Starbucks to-go cup or a tumbler or a cold cup. Those are all the keywords I use. Uh, interesting history on eBay. One currently listed for 20 bucks plus shipping, one at 66 bucks plus shipping. These sold for around 30 or 40 bucks, so I'm gonna go right in there at about 40 or 50 bucks and split the market. Uh, I do say it's, eh, maybe I'll say it's like new, because that straw doesn't actually go with it. Over in the pottery, like, you know, this is the salt and pepper section. These are handmade salt and pepper shakers. I like them. I like the look. They're, you know, kind of cool. And um, I, I just think that that like brown tones or taupe or whatever is getting kind of more popular. So what I'll do is I'll auction these off at a penny plus shipping and just try and get some traction to my eBay store. As you list new categories, I think it's important to get viewers uh, to get eyes on it, not viewers. But I mean, if you want to bid, you can bid on this. But I'm just saying like viewers to the auction. That's very important. This is a, a glass bowl. It says France. So I was able to ID a similar bowl, same exact design, and the company is Arco Rock or Akorok. I don't know which it is. Uh, it's a French company that made glassware for home kitchens. It was not like de uh, decorative. I mean, it is, but it's not like meant to be not used. It's meant to be used. Um, this one right here, I think that's the closest I could find, but still all of these had a Korok stamp in the bottom. Apparently they only began doing that in 1956. So maybe this is pre 1956 or maybe it's just a knockoff. I don't know. Um, either way, I don't think it's worth more than like 10 bucks. So unfortunately, although I do like the color, it is pretty cool. I left it on the shelf. They wanted like, what is that? Four bucks for it. The money just is not there. Even though personally, I do think it's neat. I saw this giant decorative bowl out of the corner of my eye. It has that uh, Bible verse from Corinthians. You always hear at weddings. It's like love is something, something. Love is patient. Love is kind. You've heard it before. And on the back, it's signed. Uh, I looked this up and the, the potter, his name is Brian Becker. He's a guy in Wisconsin, hand makes these. Uh, they have different sayings or Bible verses on them. This one, uh, there are none currently listed, or maybe there was one at 69 bucks. I'm seeing them go for between like 60 bucks to 90 bucks, uh, depending on how the, you know what the the design is, if they have shipping or not. So for seven bucks, I'm gonna list this at like 75 bucks and, and probably make the buyer pay for shipping. A cool Starbucks mug. This is the first Starbucks store, circa 2007. Could not find any existing listings on eBay uh, or comps, although I could find ones on Mercari for 50 bucks. So I'm going to buy this. It's only two bucks in the store. It's very clean. And I think I listed it about 30 or 40 bucks. Let's see if I get any traction on that. I bought these for myself. Uh, they're a little. So tell me, are these shot glasses? Because they look smaller than shot glasses to me. Uh, they were handmade, I think. Uh, I love the colors. Very cool. Um, I think they're an ounce. I don't think they're two ounces. I think they're only an ounce. They're very narrow. But if you know what these are, please tell me because they are now in my kitchen and uh, I got a drink out of them. I got to drink something out of them, right? Loved these as well, but they're really common on eBay. So they're brass. The brand is Gatco. Um, solid brass. They're like seagulls or albatrosses or terns. Had to leave them, although I did like them. Had to leave this too. Why I picked it up uh, to look it up is because, first of all, it's crystal. Second of all, it uh, is made in Germany. Mikasa with the German tag on there. It's not too old because if it were, it'd say West Germany. It's worth like 10, 15 bucks. I like it, but it stayed on the shelf. 
As you guys know, I don't know much about pottery, so when I see something that looks interesting or took a lot of work, I will always look it up. This thing, I think you put it on a wall and put a, a, a plant in there maybe. On the back, it says Foxlow. That's Fox and Lois Garney of Cambria, California. They make this stuff by hand, and there is a customer base for it. It looks really good. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, they're cats. If you can find a Foxlow cat, those are big. This, uh, not so much. I think probably I can get maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks for it. It really is going to depend on what it actually is and the keywords I use. That one there, it's like a wall vase sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Um, different color scheme. So, I'm learning. Tell me what you think. Saw these international cast weights, two 45 pound plates, two 35 pound plates. They wanted about 40 cents per pound. That's a good deal. Don't worry about the rust. Uh, personally, I think I will be keeping these, but you can sell them pretty fast locally. It's almost like currency. I went over to the books, saw some really cool ones. I'm not going to go over every single book. That would take too long, but I'll just give you guys a general idea of what I'm buying. Either books for personal use like this. I want to learn what these antiques were. This is a reproduction from the 70s of a catalog from, I think, 1919. All these older books with no barcodes, I'll sell for about 10 to 15 bucks, with one exception. Uh, these books, they say they're Gates of Zion, I think is the series. It's a series of books. I'll get about five or, or maybe 10 bucks a piece, depending on how much they're actually worth. I didn't look them up. I'm just buying series for cheap when I can. This one, All on a Mountain Day by Eileen Fisher. This is the book club edition, and there are some sketches in there. So this is kind of interesting. The book club edition is currently listed. Uh, the first book club edition, which is, this is what it is, is listed at like 30 bucks on eBay. The original first edition, so this became before the book club, sold for like 10, 15 bucks. So I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, in situations like this, I tend to trust the market. I will price mine at like 30 bucks free shipping, and I think it'll sell. But just an interesting thing, you know, if you're out there and you come into a situation like this, just trust the market. That's my advice. Speaking of trusting the market, I picked up these Hoka Bondi Sixes. There were no tears to the exterior. Uh, they are a little bit not the best smelling, which that was kind of gross. And on the bottom, there is some wear to the heel. I think I can still sell these. Uh, I checked on eBay and an exact comp sold for 80 bucks plus shipping. 85 bucks plus shipping, which is really good for a used pair of shoes. So I'm thinking with the sole wear, I could probably get 60 bucks plus shipping. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I will definitely report on this on my Instagram or on TikTok or somewhere like that. At another Salvation Army, I picked up some old books. Uh, this is a, a printable calculator. Those are always good. That's an old Sony clock. I'll sell that for like 40 bucks on Amazon. It'll take like four months to sell. I picked up Harry Potter and Stephen King books. I do sell those in lots on auction. You get about two to three or four bucks per book, and I buy them for 50 cents, so it's easy. This is the best book of this find. Agatha Christie, first edition. I'll take that ink pen or grease pen off. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but I, I'll, I'll probably use just like Lysol maybe or something that evaporates alcohol. Uh, it's worth about 30 or 40 bucks. It is the book club edition, but it's still uh, a cool cover and pretty old. So here's an interesting thing that happened. Four Ray Dunn mugs and four random mugs. I'm sure you're thinking, oh, the Ray Dunn mugs are so great. They're so awesome. Someone donated their matching set of Mr. and Mrs., mom and dad mugs. They wanted five bucks a piece in the store. These only go for about 10 bucks a piece resale. So probably if I found the right buyer, I could sell them all for 40 bucks free shipping. To invest 20 bucks to make 40 bucks free shipping, that's pretty bad. Next to it are four more mugs. These are four for $2. Uh, and the biggest winner here is this 3D mini mug. Anything with 3D Disney, I always look up. That goes for about 20, 25 bucks plus shipping. Uh, and the rest, I'll just auction off. I had to buy four, so that's why I did that. Here's another personal buy. This is a ceramic bowl. Five color print, that's really cool. Uh, it's made in Ireland. The brand is Wade, and it's made in Ireland. You can see right there, made in Ireland, and then in the Irish language, is that Celtic, I guess? It says, I assume, Ireland made in Ireland or whatever. Um, four bucks in the store. So it looks like this probably goes for like 20 or 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, when you, Sometimes these go for like five bucks on auction because it's not very popular. Uh, but to the right buyer, something made this high quality, made in Ireland, certainly would sell. There's some shamrocks in the side. I just like it a lot. 
Uh, this right here, I'm buying it for my grandma because, you know, why not? She's Hollywood's best grandma. Uh, but what I also saw was this cool blown glass vase with a ruffled edge. No maker's mark, uh, nothing. The bottom is sanded down, so I think it was professionally made. It has like a cool turtle shell design maybe. Uh, I'd say it's about six inches tall. I really, really like it a lot. I think what I'll do is clean it up, take some good pictures, and auction that off. Uh, and then this, well, that gets mailed to my grandma down there in Arizona. Hello, if you're watching. You guys are watching this, though, so what you see in front of you is a potato dish. It looks like a potato, and it's for potatoes. Uh, on the bottom, you can see it says Atlantic Co. Mold. Um, they, I guess they're mold clay plates. There's a little bit of chip on there or a crack. I don't know. Not worth very much, but just interesting. Whenever you put food inside of a bowl that looks like that food, I'm on board. Okay, now the absolute craziest, biggest find of the day. 72 pieces. Hull is the brand. Hull pottery, glazed pottery for only 35 bucks, less than 50 cents a piece. And I don't know much about this and I'm probably over my head, uh, but I bought it. For 35 bucks for this much pottery, it's hard to lose money. Now, I had to package it myself, and I was extremely concerned about chipping anything, so I used about, I don't know, half of the, the paper roll they gave me. But I'm, I'm excited. Here it is, all wrapped up. I saw it on the that roller thing, and I knew it was a good deal. I, I mean, I don't know what it's worth. I have not priced it all out, but it's 72 pieces. And like eight of the mugs that I have in here, or like five of the plates, all go for around a hundred bucks. So there's, if I had to guess, throw a number out there, I'd say between 250 and 650. But again, <laughs> I have no clue. I just know that for 35 bucks, that's a good deal. Here it is, all wrapped up. I saw it on the that roller thing, and I knew it was a good deal. I, I mean, I don't know what it's worth. I have not priced it all out, but it's 72 pieces and like eight of the mugs that I have in here or like five of the plates all go for around a hundred bucks. I mean, seriously, like look through this, uh, eight piece hull duck dishes, 29 pieces. I've got about a dozen of these mugs. They went on auction for 102 bucks. It's that same design brown drip oven proof glazed so like i said i paid 35 bucks for it who who knows how much it'll actually end up going for i would love to sell it as a set but that seems like an enormous undertaking and i don't know if i could ship that I'm, it has to be a pickup which is probably ideal but um i don't know stick around subscribe to the channel if you want to see how i uh how I handle this because it's going to be quite the undertaking, I think.